<laughs> Welcome back to Can I Buy with Y'all, man, back. where we bring the immaculate vibes every time we every do this. Time. If it's your first time watching, you can follow us on all platforms, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, on everything. Introduce yourself real quick. Oh, I'm starting off this time? Why not? You already know, it's your boy Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis O. Two, three. Yes, sir. And it's your boy Kaz. You can follow the IG at C A Z underscore zero. And we got the guests back up in the building. So I'm gonna let you both introduce yourselves one time. Whoever wanna go first. They pointing fingers, but you know whoever <laughs> feeling it. Hello, my name's Angelina. It is A N J A L I N A underscore Joy J O Y. Hi, uh, I'm Ariel. <laughs> It's at Ariel, A-R-I-E-L-L-E, underscore Marie7. They came prepared. The IG's ready. Yeah, everything. I mean, you guys threw it out, so we had to, too. I had to, to remember my username. Self-promo. But speaking of promo, if you're watching on YouTube, we got this beautiful black, oh. matte black bottle that Angelina is holding. Up. Show it for the camera real quick. Look at that. It's actually delicious. delicious. And I love the bottle. Shout out to the, the Bamboo team. Shout nice. out to the Sovereign nice. Brands, the Bel Air. Thank you. All of that. We definitely appreciate it. Sipping that good good today. And it's actually super smooth. Super smooth. Like so it. before we get too crazy today, a little bit of a special episode. Because for the people who really watch us, uh, we have this little guilty pleasures segment that we do on occasion. We just like to jam out on here. <laughs> Finally, I was proud of myself. I didn't know the other ones. The feisties coming out. Feisties. Puerto Rican versus Puerto Rican. Who's Puerto Rican? That's why they're on opposite sides. Baby, yo soy Boricua. Ya tu sabes. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get along just fine. This is going to be great. Yes. That's why I said you guys got a special episode. We don't do this every time. Do what? The songs? This. Oh, I love that. Well, I love that you. we're getting to know you as you guys also get to know each other. Absolutely. Pleasure. Absolutely. Do you actually want to get into some topics, though? Yeah, why not? All right. All right. Let me read it out you know, I got to be somewhat professional now. That was a good icebreaker, though. Yeah, that was fun. That was cute. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, uh, sorry to kill the vibe, but <laughs> I have a question for you guys. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> Why do you think cheating is normalized these days? Oh, I feel like because the social media has a huge role in it. Mm. Because I feel like no one has respect for each other, like relationships in a way. Because you have, I don't know, everything's just... On access, you have Tinder, Snapchat, Instagram, and everyone's like, oh, they did it, it's okay. Like, no biggie. Like, so you, you could know. have a whole bunch of other females, like, immediately at your disposal. Yeah. Anybody, <laughs> anybody you're trying to cheat on me with, like, is immediately right there in your fingers. And especially because of social media, people literally, like, wait for that. 100%. Like, you have, like, I feel like people, especially nowadays, our generation has, like, okay, well, if this relationship doesn't work, I have so-and-so on the backup, yeah. on my mm -hmm. roster. Or they'd be like, they never have to know, you know? You think it's glorified, cheating? I don't think it's glorified necessarily. You think some people glorify it? I feel like some men or women. Men? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Either, man. I feel like it's an ego thing for them. The more they do it, it's like, oh, like I'm that boss. For both genders? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's girls that like they're alpha females mm -hmm. and they feel the same way about it. I don't think that means. Well, alpha female. I don't think cheating determines if you're an alpha. I know, alpha but I don't think like a. She a I don't know. Like she a bad bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, look how many men I can cheat on. Yeah. I mean, here's my thing. I also think that gender roles have a lot to do with it because let's face it: if a dude sleeps with twenty chicks and if a chick sleeps with twenty dudes, the dude we high five and the chick we talk smack about. A hundred percent. Like the girl is just, like we say horrible things no about her, mm -hmm. call her names, call her ran through, call her whatever you want. But if a dude does the exact same thing, we commend him and we high five him and we give him props. And that that's not fair. That should be seen as for what it is. It shouldn't be different if you're a dude and you do that or if you're a chick and you do that. Well, it should a, be the same. It's a preference. Most men don't want a woman that's been ran through. A woman typically wants a man with experience. Yeah, but I don't also want to date a guy that has had sex with the entire town. Everybody knows him. I don't want that. But do you want a guy with, with experience? I can also give him that experience. I can also <laughs> okay. teach him. Okay. If he doesn't know what he's doing, I'd be like, okay. I'm, a, I'm a big communicator. So if I don't like something in the bedroom or you want to, I need something different, I'm going to tell you straight up when we're done. Be like, listen, you need to change this, this, and this because this is what I like. So but <laughs> you think that sparks insecurity? 
I think that's part of being an alpha female. Insecurity for me? Like if you tell a guy that, do you think certain things that you say, like, yo, you need to work on this, 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 that would make well, it Well, I don't say it like that. I'm a very... Of course, like, but... I would say it differently. Or like when we're in the bedroom, I'd like be like, let's do this. Let's try this, you know? You would coach him. Yeah. Is there a certain degree where he's not coachable? Where you're like, oh, no, I can't work with this. <laughs> um, the fifth I, I, on that one. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, vibe is I, vibe. This sounds, most most I, women that laugh was want personal. a man that has experience. They don't really want to coach a man. She That's has why. personal experience. I can see it in her face right now. Well, most yeah. men want, like, that fresh. Of ready. course. Of yeah. course. But obviously, in most cases, if you're fresh like that, you might. For example, we talked about getting ahead. You like getting ahead. I like getting ahead. Mm -hmm. Head trash because she ain't got no experience. Okay, so, question. Well, I already said I was different. I want a girl with experience. But most men do. Well, well, they don't want a girl with experience. But what if she's the perfect girl on paper? Like, all what boxes is, are what checked. Is perfect? To you, like, I don't know. Whatever she, your boxes are. Whatever okay. your boxes are. Mm -hmm. But in bed, she's absolutely horrible. <sighs> are you going to still want her? No. Or would you rather have a girl that might not check all the boxes, but in the bedroom is a 10 out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah. I could work with the first girl, but if we're trying to make those adjustments and there's no progress, then I can't really do that. See, and that's why I feel like guys get bored with their relationship, and if it's not what they want in the bedroom, that's when they go looking other places. Yeah, I mean, it does play a huge part, but like I said, if I, I'm willing to coach to an extent. Yeah. If I tell you a little something and you make an adjustment, I'll be like, all right, points for you. Just did something new that you didn't do last time. <laughs> then you do something new again. I'm like, all right. I feel like you like it here. <laughs> I'm going to keep you around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> For real, though, because there's some girls who, like, they start off super shy. Yes. And then a couple Freaks. days. I so I'm like, do this. That's, that's also a tactic. Oh, okay, but here's the thing. The first, time, the first time you sleep with anybody, I am not pulling out all the tricks well, in Because my then you're going to be like, oh, then, like, where'd yeah. you learn this from? Well, because if you if I this first time I sleep with you, if I pull out all the tricks in my bag, then it only goes downhill from here. Yeah. So the first time I'm gonna make a point, like I'm gonna make it like, don't worry, baby, this is great. However, like the best is yet to come. You know, hundred percent. I don't think I've heard that yet. No, I think that would. I don't want to off rip give you everything, everything because then the next time you're gonna be like. I don't know. What if it's not as good as last time? It's got to get better, at least at first. At least at first, like, like you, you know. don't have any new tricks? <laughs> yeah, like, that's it? That's it? That's all we got? I'm like, oh, so oh. How, do you, how do you know you perform good enough for him to come back? What if you underperform? I mean. Because you were holding back. Hasn't been an issue yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but when, it, when, when the issue arises, I will let hey, you know what I happened. Was I'll come back. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> when the issue arises, I'll come back and be like, here's what happened. <laughs> And I'll, I'll let you guys know. Okay. I guess yeah. part two coming. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> never. We're going to fact check it. It's but, also the what? same thing. Would you guys, if you, let's say you go on a date, the first date, and she wants to, like, go home with you, but then vice versa, you go on a girl with five dates, and then she goes home with you, who are you going to take more serious? Because I feel like that's also a big stigma. I mean, it depends. Like, the girl, you, on the first date, you can go home, but it might be trash for all you know. But, but would you respect the other girl more? Are you going to see her? She different? waited. Um, nah, I mean, the waiting listen. makes no difference. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I I might give you like a little, <laughs> you know, good job. You, congrats on your celibacy for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but I mean, I could wait that five dates, and it could be trash for all I know. So, but you're not going to respect or. I mean, it depends because like some girls, like are they just feeling you in the moment. That's, that's your choice. What is that, matching energy? You both are mm -hmm. feeling each other enough. I feel like sex, there's a lot of, like, chemistry. Like, you can't, yeah. you can't fake chemistry. You can't deny mm. it. You can't fake it. You can't, like, make it be there. Yeah. It's just, it's either there or it's not, period. Whether yeah. you're a virgin, whether you've, you know, ran through 50, 100 people, <laughs> chemistry is chemistry, point blank, yeah. period, you know? I mean, there's levels to it, too, because if, like, Say we out and we meet a girl and we've been talking for five minutes and she wants to sleep with me. I'd be like, all right, that's different. Five minutes? Five that, minutes. That's Damn. fast. You've had that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh. 
hey, these girls are crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're here for the story time. Not saying I did. Oh, go ahead. Go. Not saying yeah, I did. Let's, let's hear it. it. You know, let's hear it. Yeah, come on. We're supposed to ask you stuff too. No, 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 no. For real though. Good question. Thank you. You know, I appreciate that. You know what? I got you. If 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 I meet a girl and she's trying to have sex with me in five minutes, in five minutes I'm in here. Has it happened? Oh, it has oh not. Okay, okay. I have morals. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, a few hours, that could be different. You know, we dance and yeah. we having a couple of drinks. We feeling good. Right. I'm talking to her. I'm big on communication, too. Who said, you said that. Mm-hmm. I'm big on communication because it's like, it's not just like I, you look good and we dancing and like, let's go back to the crib. Like, I was talking to you a little bit. I'm like, oh shit. Like, it's kind of cool. Yeah. She feeling my vibe. I'm feeling her vibe. All right. Why not? We both adults. I can respect that. But if you come up to me and like, oh, my God, you're so sexy. Can I buy you a drink? And the next thing you know, you talk about asking me where I live. I'm like, hey, hey, calm down. You do this with a lot of people, don't you? <laughs> maybe you just got it like that. Yeah, maybe. She Could just be. Like, what about you? What about me? <laughs> Five minutes. She's trying to go back with you. Uh, I've had ten minutes. Uh, I, felt, I felt pretty good. It was a compliment to me. I felt like I was that dude in there. Um, I don't think she did it with like five other dudes. I just, because I feel like most women are pretty choosy on who they're taking home. So you're not going up to multiple dudes throughout the night, five dudes asking, you trying to go home with me. I feel like it also takes a lot. I don't know, speaking for me, it takes mm-hmm. a lot for a girl, a lot of courage to even walk up to a guy and be like, hey, yeah. da 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 da. That's not common. Yeah. I wish y'all did it more though, to be what honest. What happens? I said, can't relate. I'll walk up to anybody. <laughs> I have no shame. I'm like, hey, I think you're attractive. Like, yeah, if I ever How find someone attractive in the bar, it, I send it, her. Not that, yeah, if she, if she <laughs> wants to hit anybody, she's like, Ariel, I find this person attractive. I'm like, I got you. I'll be back. <laughs> See, we could never do that. No. If we send a homeboy to go do it, it bad. makes it worse. Yeah, yeah like, it does why make has, look bad. Why didn't he come up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for females, it's different, though. I feel like Uber. for females, like, you know, our wingmans are like, hey, yo, let's go handle this for me. <laughs> but you said you go up to men. Yeah. You have no shame in it. You don't feel like. No, because I don't feel like, once again, going back to like roles, like, I don't feel like, why should I wait for you to hit on me? If I find you attractive, I'm going to walk over and be like, hey, I find you attractive. And a lot of men, I feel like, are underappreciated by like, I don't know, underappreciated, I say, but like women don't hit on men a lot. So I feel like that's, I'm I'm different. Mm -hmm. I'm very like, hey, if I like you, I have no point in telling you, like, hey, I like your face. I respect that for sure. You know, I know what I want. I like what I like. And I have no problem saying that. It happens, but it's not common. See, yeah, I'll just stare at common. them from across the room like a little creep. Like, you're cute. <laughs> like, to let them make eye contact. And they're probably staring at you back and be like, damn, and then I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. I just do. Just eye contact, telepathy. Please, come. in my head, I'm like, hit here. on me, hit on me, hit on me. I'm just saying, if women come up first, it makes the job a lot smoother for oh, us. Hell yeah. You don't have to do anything. Because we, we, we try to you go. just hold the conversation. We, we just sit there and yeah. just look pretty, basically. We try to go by body language. So I was like, you looking at me? Like, all right. I feel it. But I'm still, still don't really know. I don't know what's going through your head. Yeah. So you come up and say, hey, I think you're attractive. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> Talk for a little bit. Ariel underscore Marie 7. Oh. <laughs> But you got to slide in his DMs. No, no, no. I thought I'd walk up to you in person. I'm not sliding in anybody's DMs. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like DMs. Absolutely not. Yeah, I don't do, I don't do that. I, I, would, I, would so much, I would so much rather be approached in person than sliding in my DMs. Because to me, that's like, so you were too afraid to talk to me in person. So you waited to do it through yourself. Oh, no, no, no. no. You said you would go up to him. So what's the difference if yeah. you slide in his DMs? Would you do it? I, no, I don't like that. I feel like that's disingenuine. Yeah. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. And that goes back to like what, you know, social media makes everything so easily accessible these days. I'm not like that. I'm a very in-person, I love communication. I'm very like, I'm a talker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So no, talk to me in person, real life. Like, hey, but if you don't know me in real life, then, and you slide in my DMs because that's like your only way to, I understand that. But I don't want, if you see me in person, then you wait till later to be like, hey, like, hey. Yeah, that's kind no, of weird. And my phone. Before, like, I don't hey, like that. I saw you, da 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 you Like, I really saw you good. earlier tonight. I'm like, okay, weird. Decline. <laughs> Accepting this. Blocked. So if he had never seen you in person, his only way in there is through the DMs. What's the percent chance that you're going to respond? I don't know if there's a number I can put on that. What would Not, make you respond? If you say something other than like, hey, you're beautiful. Or, yeah. <laughs> hey, or you're what's so your Snapchat? Hot. What's your snap? Let me get your number. <laughs> Let me take you out. I understood that. What's the point of going on Instagram to ask for the Snapchat? And then you add the Snapchat. And st- yeah, 
What drink. you gonna say now? I, like, just have a conversation with me. I'm very big on like my attraction, like initial attraction. Obviously, yes, is physical. But to me, if if I don't, if I can't hold an intelligent conversation with you, I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to sleep with you. Yep. So you gotta have like a conversation with me, like. That's why I can't. Five minutes we mind. going home. I can't do that. <laughs> you want to get the next question? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Surprise would, me. Would you rather deal with a man who is broke with experience or a man who is rich with no experience? Rich what? and no experience. God. <laughs> damn, that was quick. quick. I think that was record. God <laughs> damn. All right, next question, I guess. Because I, I explained earlier, I can teach you. There's a, you know, there's websites online. Put it on your TV. I will show you what to do. <laughs> Oh DVD tutorials. Hey, go on. Uh huh. I mean, I'll take you to the SEX store down the street. Who do I like more? Who do I connect with better? Honestly, well, you have the same you? connection with both. I mean, oh, but I've also had the broken experience, and it just you know. elaborate. Was it not a good time? Well, maybe it's also for me. I mean, yeah, it's a great time, but then it's also. I asked them, what do you like to do for fun? I don't know. I just like to throw football back and forth. <laughs> what, what does that do for me? <laughs> <laughs> All the athletes that didn't I'm make curious. it. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I already know some men go get triggered when they see they that. Are. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You might be broke and you might be great in bed, but you're still they just know a, who they are. They know who they are. I got tears in my eyes. Oh. <laughs> No, they felt that one. Okay. Long story short, fellas, they need ambition. Yes. And some brain Just drive. Drive. There. drive. Have a drive. Have some sort of, like, want to do something. Like, that's my thing about being, like, if you're broke but you're trying yeah, or you have some sort of drive or motivation or work ethic or something, okay, then that's what I want rather than someone who's rich and handed everything, you know? Mm -hmm. However, if you're broke and you're okay being broke and living on my couch and letting me pay for everything for you as long as you're sleeping with me at the end of the day because the sex is great absolutely not i'd rather have horrible sex yeah. than somebody who's going to give me substance surprisingly there's a lot of women who fall into that trap kind of especially women who make great money end up with broke broke pos dudes see Dick, i got you digmatized <laughs> i like that. it's a thing for yeah real. it is and you they said gaslight you like them. that i like that word oh the word the word the word the word <laughs> Yeah, worried. Wait, what? I've never heard that word. <laughs> okay. I mean, I feel like the broke guys, that's all they have to offer, so they have to go a little bit harder and working on that part of themselves. Yeah, yeah but, but get then something they else also, to offer. Yeah, but then they also, those are the ones that sleep around the most, too. So they be broke living in your house and you still get cheated on. Yeah. It's not only our house they live in. They're, they're hopping from they're house hopping to house. Hopping from house to house. They need a couch. You they're know? not answering their phone at 10 and 8. He's with the other shorty down the street. <laughs> well, you sound like you're speaking from personal experience. <laughs> Please explain. Listen, I've the, had 10 o'clock, that was a specific time. Okay. You want to hear a quick little story? Yes. Oh, please. Can we do the story when you came to my bar? No, oh, I'm my gonna God. Do, no, I'm going to do both. Why don't we do both? All right, let's do both. Yeah, yeah, so go. this one guy I was talking to was maybe like two months in. He went MIA. It was only like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. I know you're not going to sleep at this time. So I, <laughs> this is so embarrassing to say, I paid to have a background check on him, found out where he lived because he never told me, and I thought that was weird. We're two months <laughs> into dating, and you didn't tell me where you lived. So I pulled up to her bar because we worked at the same place, and it was probably an hour before closing and I'm like give me your car keys right now he can't know like I have to do drive by he can't know it's my car I'm in the middle of a shift and she walks in like I, I had a black Mustang with that was all blacked out at the time and she walks in my best friend comes to my bar like give me your car keys right now and I'm like I'm scared I'm like I okay. ran out of there I took a girlfriend with me and pulled up to his house his car wasn't there so I had my girlfriend text him on her phone acting like it was his coworker, like, hey bro, like can you take my shift tomorrow? Two seconds later, a response from him. But my phone, there's no response. So I already knew what was going down. Yeah, that was story number one. Crazy. I was that was old Angela. Wait, 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 you don't know for sure though. What'd you say? You don't know for sure. He, just because he didn't respond to you? 
And he's not at home. And he told me he was at home. You're with another girl. Yeah, you just your, got caught you in a You always have to trust your instinct. My body was shaking. And that's your, your gut literally it telling you. It scares me how crazy y'all are. Females but that was, that was, that was old. Dedicated. I don't like the C word. I don't like the, nah, uh, uh, uh. No, absolutely not. I don't like the C word. I'm not crazy, baby. I'm <laughs> passionate. Know that's a crazy story. Okay, that was old, Angelina. I don't I do that context. anymore. I understand your context. What are you passionate about? But that's what, whatever, okay. whatever it is that you're calling me crazy about, that's what I'm passionate about. No, younger me, I had to prove to them and I had to catch them in the lie. <laughs> oh, hell no. I can't even lie my know. way out of that one. <laughs> like, I don't know. Younger me, I always had to prove a point in catching the lie because you men like to talk your way out of it. Like, no, baby, I wasn't. I was doing this, this, and this. No, you I was were throwing doing the football. <laughs> ten oh. o'clock at night. Oh, no. If you were throwing <laughs> the football, I'm at trying 10 to make it to night, the league. You, we need practice, baby. But if you were throwing the football at ten o'clock at night, you wouldn't have not made it and be the broke athlete that. Never I'm working got on to. it. Yeah. I'm working How on many years are you on working on it? I'm working on it for six years. You're working on it. Yeah, and I'm out of yours. Oh, not yours. Oh. It's, it's but okay. Like, yeah, You'll see me at the top. <laughs> <laughs> but God, you didn't know for is, sure, though. No, I hundred percent knew. Why are you not answering my text? But then you're answering your homeboy, and you told me you were home. You fell asleep because then at one o'clock in the morning, he then texted me. He was like, "Sorry, I just woke up." Da da da. But you never actually saw him with another girl. See, and this is why I don't like to pull up anymore. If my intuition tells me you're doing something. You're doing it. What if you went bowling or something? Yeah. Why, Why didn't, didn't he tell he me you tell were bowling? Me? Why didn't he call me? He was busy. Yeah, okay, yeah but he then answered the other, <laughs> he answered the other, the other text message and not mine. Earth. And then tell me you were just at home asleep. But obviously you weren't because you texted somebody else. And yo, if you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. You don't have to talk to me all night. Just be like, yo, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, busy. I'm, I'm doing the this. Boys. I'm going bowling with the boys. What, like, whatever it is that you're doing, but like, communicate that be with honest. me. Don't the just boys disappear. The boys had a pregame. He got a little drunk. He forgot the answers. Oh. You're still forgetting that he answered the other phone. Because it was his homeboy. Wait, still, you never saw him with <laughs> another girl. Like, you never like I'm actually like, saw it. You're just assuming he was with a girl. Here's my thing about this conversation. These two men oh don't God. know the man we're talking about, but they're defending and they're like, and I don't, I don't like that because they're just talking. Y'all, 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 y'all try and talk your way out of it. Like, we got what we got. He answered my text, so I'm assuming he was with another girl. Like, you're assuming you don't have concrete evidence. Okay, let's flip it around. What if that happens to you? What if it's your girlfriend? It's not about me. Exactly. No, no, you told us that. You said it's not about right now. Okay, so hypothetically, hypothetically, you're with this girl. Y'all dated for what? Two months? Two months. You're with this girl for two months, okay? And all of a sudden, one night, she just like stops texting you, right? And you and you have a gut feeling like, oh, this is like weird. And then your your homeboy texts her pretending to be somebody else, whatever, and she answers them. And then Don't put my homeboy into this. Yo, we're being hypothetical. Facts, don't facts, don't you want me to facts, put you in this facts. story? <laughs> Whatever. And then hours later, she's like, "Oh, babe, I'm sorry, I was asleep. Obviously, you weren't fucking asleep. You texted my. Obviously, you weren't asleep. You texted my friend. Did you she address him? I didn't tell him that I pulled up. Absolutely not. No, like like the next day. Why oh no, you I was answer? done with him. Wow. Okay. I because then I asked him because I saw that he was <laughs> he was on social media too. No, 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 no. no. I don't what? have to give you a reason. I'm just out. There are plenty of fish in the sea, and if you're not because, gonna, and then your guilty conscience is gonna be exactly. like, she knows. She was at bingo with the girls, you know. <laughs> she might not hear from me in the morning, but do your thing. <laughs> Something happened to a family Loaded. member. Exactly. You just weren't top priority at that moment. Communication. Communicate with me that you're. He did. He communicated at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. I'm already too far out. gone. I'm already done. You said you're home. You're not. Your car is not parked out front. The best Ow. part was, what, a year and a half after, almost two years, this all happened. He DM'd her because I had him blocked on everything. He DM'd her on Instagram and goes, listen, I'm really trying to get in touch with Angelina. I know I really screwed up. Um, can you reach out to her and let her know, like, I'm trying to reach her? And block. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And my response. My response. I called her. Sounds like a good man. Respect. Really. <laughs> no. 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 It's okay. Because it was like right around like Christmas time. It was like December when this happened, mm. and I immediately call her, and I tell her like, "Yo, this is the DM I just got. I'm not gonna respond." And my response was, uh, "My Christmas present to Angelina is not relaying this message." Damn. Toxic. Okay. <laughs> That's honest. Not just toxic. Trying to see, just trying honest. to see how you doing. Yeah. No. You. 
No. Mm-mm. It was an honest mistake. You said, you said around Christmas? He's trying to communicate. Yeah. You, maybe he wanted to just say <laughs> Merry <Goodbye>. Christmas. <laughs> maybe he was trying to buy you Christmas gifts. Mm. For real. Maybe I should have said yes. And you don't, you don't, you don't like it. the yeah. experience. I paid for you like everything the money. in the relationship. What was he going to buy me? That's true, though. That's true. He was also broke. Yeah, and he was broke. I mean, he could have. He never, came up. Never mind. <laughs> he could have. He, he got a holiday bonus. He, <laughs> a holiday <laughs> bonus from couch you. to couch. <laughs> it was a four for four from Wendy's. Those things be busting. They do. Yeah. They exactly. do. See, <laughs> look at that smile on your face. You sound like a good man to me. Wait, wait. I want to hear the second story. Oh, gosh, this is even crazier. Go ahead. If I don't know it, I'm very excited to listen. (laughs) (laughs) Let's hear it. So I was talking to this guy. He was away from college. It's probably like a four-hour drive from where I lived. And he wanted, it was like they had off Monday, Tuesday. Like it was some kind of holiday. So he wanted me to drive up for the weekend. And I did. And almost an hour away from being by the destination, he was like, oh, like, my family's here, like, da-da-da, you can't stay here. Like, don't come. And we had a set time, like, whatever, whatever. So he stops answering, another stops answering his phone. <laughs> and th- this is the broke guy? <laughs> this is another broke athlete guy. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. it's starting to be a pattern. The, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we okay. don't do that anymore. Angelina has evolved. <laughs> we used to have a type. We used to. That type of, it's changed. It's six feet underground. So long story short, I am almost there. It's late at night too. And he's not answering his phone, but he's active on Instagram, like posting on his stories and all this stuff. So I ended up staying at a hotel because I wasn't going to drive another four hours like in the same way. That's a long day. So the next morning, like I just couldn't sleep. I was like, what is he doing? Like what happened? Because we were talking on and off for almost a year and a half now. Damn. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> so I pull up to his crib, and his car is there. And he, he, like, said that he had practice or something. He's like, I can't, like, I have practice now. So his apartment complex was, like, in the front. So there was a, the kitchen had a curtain that was, like, facing the parking lot. So I start banging on the door. Like, I know he's in there. And I see... <laughs> I don't know oh this story. God. I drove Crazy. four <laughs> hours. Well, okay, I didn't your start. C-word. I didn't. Crazy. I didn't start <gasps> off banging. I, I knocked it. and then the C word. Crazy. I even, no, I didn't love that. Well, you told me <laughs> honestly. You stopped answering your phone. I want to know why you stopped she's answering crazy, your phone. Why'd you crazy. tell me? You could have just been like, "I don't want to talk to you. We're done. Just stay here." But home, I would be like, "Okay, fine." But you have me an hour before I'm supposed to get to your house. Like, da da da. So. His roommate answers the phone. He's like, oh, Angelina, what are you doing here? I don't know. What am I doing here? Where's so-and-so? So I open the door, and I'm like, where is he? He's like, what do you mean? He's at practice. I'm like, his car is right there. Long story short, he was at practice, but... <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I should have left. Oh, my God. But... <laughs> Crazy... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I really thought this story was going somewhere else. Because I don't know it. I I did too. I thought he got caught, but I guess not. I'm like, damn, he made you drive that long. That's that's kind of messed up. Hold on. It gets better. I find out that the night before, it was his ex girlfriend that was with him the entire time. So, I mean, it does get better. So, he was busy. You could have told me to stay home. Yeah, yeah, I waste. You know how much gas I drive that's a Jeep a, that's Wrangler. That's a long drive, a lot of miles. That's like seven hundred miles on my car. He's getting back with his ex. He's trying to rekindle it, start a family. Mm. That's an honest man. Yes, absolutely. Where was the honesty yeah. by communicating with me to not come? Exactly. Yeah, no let, comment. Let, let me let me stop playing on here. Let me. I'm not gonna lie though. If a girl made me drive that long. You would flip. How long ago exactly. was this? Oh, would you do it now? For for your. Three or four years ago. No, I would not. I don't do that at all. I don't do the pull-up game or anything. Oh, thank God. No. What's your craziest get... story? <gasps> oh, my God. If the person... I'm never going to tell this person that I was on this podcast because I'm, I'm friends with him to this day. I am. Story time. But just friends. Like, it never went anywhere. But we did go on, like, a... It wasn't even, like, a date. It was, like, our first time just... Hang, we were just hanging out. Like, very Thanks. chill, whatever. And... I was going to crash at his place because I, at the time, lived 
you know, 45 minutes, an hour away. So I was like, hey, can I just crash here? Whatever. I don't know if you know this. I think I know who you're talking about. Okay. And um, you'll know as soon as I tell the story. And um, I was like, whatever, can I just crash? Like, I'll crash on your couch or like whatever. It wasn't like I'm coming to your house to sleep with you, whatever. And then I took a shower when I got there because I had just gotten off work. And he jumped in the shower with me. And I turned around and I was like, what? Oh, that's bold. What are you doing? I didn't even talk like, about it first. Like, Dang, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, here's my thing. You've never kissed me. Like, it's never been more than friends. Whatever. Like, it's never been anything. Like, we don't even flirt, whatever. And you, like, did that. But, like, I why love do him. I, why I love do I him very like much, you, but in a platonic way. You continued way. the shower. Mm, I yeah. didn't. I didn't. I kind of turned okay. around, but I, I didn't know. I also didn't know what to say because I do care about this person a lot. So I didn't want to like hurt his feelings and be super rude or like, excuse me, I don't want you in here. But I did turn around and just kind of looked and was, and I said, out of my mouth, the only words came were, I'm kind of uncomfy in like a questionable way. And he <laughs> immediately, he just jumped out. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And like got out of the shower, put a towel on, like ran out of the bathroom, shut the door, and that was it. And I was like, and you're still friends and with then, him today. Yes, but platonic, She's, platonic, we're platonically friends. Nothing ever happened, and he ever went anywhere after that. I was like, yeah, you're really cool, but like. I was about to say, did you guys talk about weird. it afterwards? <laughs> like, Kind of, it was like, there was an apology, like, hey, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. But then it was kind of just like not spoken about ever again. We're just going to keep it moving. Or just, yeah, push like, that you know, <laughs> that never I, call it, I call it a speed bump. Like, you're going, and then it just happens, and you just keep going right over it. Like, it's okay. We're just going to smooth this out. Honest, but what's your craziest story? I know you got plenty. I do have a lot. I, I'm not going to lie. I know. I'm trying to, I'm <laughs> trying to think of the first one that comes to mind. This is craziest first date or craziest, like? Um, I guess this is a date, I guess. I was young <laughs> and dumb, and I decided I was going to fly a girl out. Ooh, the fly I also out. met her during spring break. Caught a very good vibe with her. We were talking all day. You flew a girl out? Yes. I love this oh, story. Oh, I don't already. know this. What the <laughs> hell? He's embarrassed. I think I was 22. I wasn't even balling like that. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to need a drink. Go ahead. <laughs> so I fly this girl out. Everything's good. She's staying in my crib. Technically, like, we met on spring break, but I didn't, like, know her like that. So when she came back, that was kind of, like, my first time meeting her. And she's in my crib. I think it was a four-day trip. So it was, like, a minute. Like, I got to welcome this girl in my crib, yada, yada, yada. So we're having a good first couple of days. And then day three, we're going out. We were going out in Miami. And we got invited to – we got invited to Club Live. And it was going to be my first time there. And uh, we had met an NFL player, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> we met an NFL player on there? South Beach. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> Angelina was probably present for this. <laughs> she might have been. He invited, uh, he invited us to a section whatnot. I'm like, I'm young. I'm like, damn, this is the first time. Like, this is dope. It's going to be a good experience. So we were actually staying. We picked one night to stay in a hotel in Miami that night. So we stayed in the hotel. We're going out, and, like, she had been drinking a little bit, and she smoked, so she was she was feeling good. It was, like, night and day. Like, she literally just saw red at this, this random moment. I was driving to the club. She just saw red and just started snapping on me, and, like, I guess, like, my, the little center console, where you, or the thing where you turn the light on, mm-hmm. she had turned that on, and I couldn't see because my, my car is tinted. So I moved her hand, but she took it as I hit her. So she started oh, claiming no. I hit her. Oh, she started freaking out on me. She started calling her friends, saying, this man hit me. I can't believe I came down here. He's abusive. Blah, blah, blah. Going crazy on me. So then, you know, I'm in the middle of driving to the spot. We're like five minutes away. So I get there. I park. I'm trying to, like, get her to calm down because she's, like, tripping. She gets out of the car and runs away. Stop so it. I got to go chase her oh, all around God. Miami Beach. Because you're a good man, because I would have just. I should have, right? I'd have been like. I should have. She's not crazy. What did you say? Passionate. Passionate. (laughs) She's passionate. Passionate. Passionately crazy. That's what she is. No, no, no. I don't. That's passionate's not the word for that. No, that girl is crazy. What what, what do you call it? I don't know. Psychotic. That's the last time I flew a girl out. 
I do remember that story now. Yeah. PTSD. Yeah, that was a while ago. Triggered. You have anything else to say? Last words? Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was absolutely. super fun. Shout out fun. that bottle real quick again. You got to hold it like you did. Like Vanna White style. Hold on. My hair just flew. One second. Thank you. Bon- I still can't pronounce Bamboo. it. Bamboo. Bamboo. Thank you for sponsoring this episode. It was delicious. Ooh. We do an episode on just like strip clubs. Oh, we've done a few. <laughs> <laughs> we could do them. We, we might do Y'all might get a part two. No, no, no. Th- this was good, definitely. If you, if you don't want us back, we really? don't have to come back. It's fine. We're going to do a poll. <laughs> if you want to see them come back on, let us know in the comments. Vote We're not going to decide on it. You guys get to decide on it. Hopefully you love my crazy stories. Drop your IG one more time for <laughs> Angelina, A-N-J-A-L-I-N-A underscore joy. Okay. <laughs> I'm Ari. <laughs> you saw like a little ready. Um, Ariel A R I E L L E underscore Marie Seven is my Instagram handle. That sounded very sensual. Thank you. Should I say it slower? I can say it even ASMR. slower. Go ahead. If you're trying to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Ariel A R I E L L E underscore Marie Seven. Who and I will talking? probably not follow you Who are you talking you to like that? Right? <laughs> She's looking done the that right before. to their soul. That is not her first time. <laughs> and again, it's your boy, Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis023. Let me do it real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Look into the soul. It's your boy, Kaz. You got the light scan face going, too. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, Kaz. You can follow the IGSCAC <laughs> underscore zero. And you can follow this beautiful podcast on all, all platforms. platforms. Instagram. Snapchat. Spotify. Facebook. Okay. Uh, Apple Music. Okay. YouTube. Um, okay. TikTok. Uh, Twitter. OnlyFans. <laughs> coming soon. OnlyFans coming soon. No, we do not create that content. We do not create that at all. Feet Finder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we going to get out of here before it gets too crazy. Appreciate Yo. y'all.